Hello guys, welcome back to Food and Arm Wrestling. Today I'm gonna share with you where do I get my boneless beef rib eyes only $7.99 a pound and uh, it's USDA choice. So I got this from uh, US Food Chef's Store. It's only $7.99 a pound. But uh, there is a promotion you have to call on to check on the stock every month and this is from texas let me know in the comment how much a pound of ribeye in your states and i got a round eye steak for 389 a pound we're gonna trim the ribeye use the fat to mix with the round eye steak to make sausage and i'm not gonna use the casing it's really easy to do and uh, less messy if you don't have the machine no problem at all and I'm gonna share with you how to you do a vacuum seal any food also without a machine very easy so stick with me until the end of the video let's do it so first we're gonna need cutting gloves safety first and also two sharp knife so one is for cutting the big piece of meat and then the second one for trimming all the fat or all of the silver skin first we're gonna cut the bags and dry out all of the liquid do this in the sink gonna help a lot so keep your board clean all the time easier I'm gonna trim a little bit of the fat and the silver muscle so the end gonna look a little bit not evenly we can use that for the sausage or we can fit it to Mr. Butter right here this has a little bit of trimming to do but not a lot just remove all of the silver muscle Just doing a little bit of work can save you a lot of money instead of paying for $13 a pound of ribeye. There is an easier way on so that you can put them in the freezer, the whole piece in the freezer, about 30 minutes. So the meat is gonna stay firm and easier to cut. Let the knife do the work. When you work with meat, if you have room, you turn the meat. Not to turn yourself like I'm doing right now, because I don't want to move the, the board too much and the, and the camera angle too. It's a lot of work, so I try not to move a lot. But if you have room when you work at home just move move the meat don't move your yourself it's, it's way harder so always cut away cut away from yourself too if you cut this way or that way don't cut in your body so the same thing I'm doing over here just trim the Please subscribe and like uh, my video for more contents. I'll try to put more out more of the cooking video also. If you want me to cook anything, you leave a comment, a like and subscribe. All the big fat gonna be used. Nothing gonna go to waste. Because the thickness of the steak is different. So I trim I trim the fat one by one to save a lot of the meat on it here's the fat that we can use for the sausage i'm really happy with this look at that look at that beautiful ribeye see that i'm really happy with it really happy
very the, the, the phone in the way but uh, I just try to give a better view of, of the meat so you guys can see closer I think about buying a camera but it, I'm gonna drop it many times so it's not a good idea I stick with the phone so here the simple way to uh, vacuum seal any of your protein or vegetable your Ziploc bag put the, your rib in there so I'm gonna dip it in the water in the water pressure gonna push down all of the air of the steak close it close it all the way here here and then leave a little gap like right here push down the whole ziplock bag and then close the rest of it perfect uh, vacuum seal any food without a machine using a uh, plastic wrap is less expensive i'm just showing you the way that uh, to vacuum seal food without a machine so for the sausage uh, without a casing we're gonna need the uh, mixer and the food processor so I'm gonna make a beef paste with the food processor so it can bind everything together without adding breadcrumb or eggs that uh, uh, it's gonna turn to a meatloaf instead of sausage and when it's 100% meat only and the paste to keep the sausage when it cooks to keep sausage stay together and all of the, the minced or the diced meat not falling apart and the fat I'm gonna add extra uh, flavor in there with testing this with different ratio the ratios of fat and the trimming and the lean meat to, uh, to get the perfect uh, sausage texture so first we're gonna dice all of the uh, eyebrow steak in small cube so this is all of the eyebrow and the trimming and the fat that we already minced now we're gonna use maybe some of this to make a, a, a beef meat paste Make sure the meat really cold, and uh, we're gonna add some. We're gonna add in some ice. You can add some water to make it easier to work. So the beef paste uh, mixture gonna look a little bit like this. This is the sausage uh, mixture. We can uh, use a piping bag to place them out on the tray, or we can just do hand rolled sausage. We're gonna put the sausage mixture in the piping bag. Make sure uh, press it down so there is no air or gap in between of uh, all of the meat layer. we just try to press them together this way is much easier less time consuming here we go guys I will find my uh, final products we're gonna freeze it steam and uh, finish that in a pan or an air fryer after 10 minutes of uh, steaming we're gonna take them out and let it cool
you see all of the final products from the uh, ribeyes and the uh, round eye steak. So we, we got our ribeye steak already uh, right back, uh, already vacuum sealed. And we have some leftover of the uh, sausage mixture. You can use that to stuff your bell pepper or jalapeno. And we also have some fresh ground beef for enough supply for butter for two weeks because we cook for him. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Give him a thumbs up too. <laughs> He has been my uh, assistant for the whole time. So we also have some uh, steamed sausage that we didn't uh, fry up. I fried some over net right now. I'm gonna do a taste test right now. So it's not too bad. When you go to the, the the U.S. foods chef store, remember to call ahead to make sure that their promotion is correct. You also can check that on the website also. Depend on the location, where you're from, or which state you are, they might have the store close to you or not. And uh, you can check the price on the website. I asked them the question about how often they do the uh, the offer for the promotion, and they said that it's gonna be every month, but it's rotate, rotating stock. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments. To let me know which part of the videos that you like and which part you think I need improvement on it. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I need a little bit of barbecue sauce. That's just for me.